scored 35 this season. There's a full Dundee team with Carson and goal, of course, and Dundee playing very well at this moment in time. Eamon Bannon, there was a lot of conjecture about Eamon. He was injured in training yesterday, quite genuinely, and I think uh, a little bit of a scare about him, but there he is, and certainly his club will need his experience. There's the Dundee United uh, side. A lot of experience alongside Bannon, of course, with their twin pillars of defence, Hegarty and Neary. Referee for today, Jim McCloskey. Dundee United kicking up the hill, but there's been nothing uphill about their games here in the past decade. They have an astonishing record at Dens Park. They've only lost twice since 1980 in the league and, of course, in the Skull Cup game recently. And a very quick free kick. You couldn't get a better atmosphere for a cup tie than is in Dens Park at this moment. Real hubbub. Kevin Gallagher. Hooked away there by Wright, has come back to cover up. A very early spot by Dundee United. Looked like a slight push to me, that referee waving play on. There's a very good ball pushed early into the box. Saunders right behind it. There's the batch of Dundee United supporters in the background there. They're used to this ground. They've won uh, two cups here and a league championship. Tommy Coyne left on his arm and there's the captain of the day, Morris Malpas, ushering it back. Well, then D, of course, will try to pick up very quickly for any mistakes in defence. They're very good on the break. And that was Vince Penny who was making that push down the right. There he is. Slip at a very crucial time. Way by Bannon. United trying a Dundee ploy there. Long, hard, through ball. If he turned round by Saunders. Oh, and I thought that was a worse challenge than the one that uh, Dundee United got the free kick from. Now, many. Look at that position. Wide open spaces for him. Shannon, who was a very good ball indeed, and United Nervy. Now that was a very good strike by Dundee. A good, strong, positive run. The follow-up was excellent. You can see how Shannon comes in here just at the right time, and that is a ball that always bothers him. No, there's nobody for the D there, Jim McAnally, beavering away as ever. Padalinen. He's a big lad, but he has very good control. It isn't at all surprising that the game has started off so fast. I think a lot of players are getting rid of a lot of nervous energy, and that's another good thrust. There's nobody in the middle except Neri. Wright looking very dangerous. Many. Wright. And United are really being pushed back now. Great start to the game by Dundee. This is McKinley. Lampardias in there with a great chance. Took that very well. A little rueful shake of the head, but I don't think he can blame himself for that. 
Well, Rafferty brought that down very well. Difficult bouncing ball, one touch and then the shot. And as I said, you can hardly blame him from that position. Nice deep touch there by French. Oh, that's good control. He wants to part with it, though, and he does. But I think he got a free kick. And that's a better and more typical Bannon ball in this. Oh, Kalika. I think there may have been a push by Patalainen. I think the referee is giving a, a free kick for the way Patalainen rolls into the air, which was hardly unassisted, as you will now see. Well, well, well. Well, a reinterpretation of that would put that down maybe as offside. And against Gallagher. <laughs> Nearly opens it out well. Ooh, that was late, I thought. But here comes McInally. To French. Gallagher comes up and here is Bowman. He's got to try the shot. Must be all oh, just blocked away. Great clearance by Versailles. Carson did not cope well with that at all. Now look at the run by Bowman. Challenged there by Saunders, and that should have been killed by the goalkeeper. And Patalainen couldn't put it away. Saved by Versailles. What a marvellous cup tie this is turning out to be. That's a touch again, and it's over by Bannon, and he's kicking himself. Figuratively speaking, I may say, I mean, he really was annoyed. Ball may have just been a little too much to the right-hand side, and he had to take it with the side of the foot, and over it went. Point. Wants to do well against his old club, of course. And the league at the corner kick. Another curling ball, and uh, he left that to Hegarty. He's got to get this one. That's off the crossbar. That was a real chance. That was a beautiful outside of the foot curling ball by Angus, and Wright got there before the hands of the keeper. And Dundee ought to have been in the lead. Maganale. Badalainen. French. Good play by United. Bannon again. Here's Redford with a shot. Well, he pounced the net with conviction. Again, the play and the source of the problem for Dundee coming from Bannon. And look. And this knock back into Redford's stride and a whistle pass. Coin. That for T again. That's about five shots he's had from about that position. And he hasn't had a clean hit in any of them. And there goes the halftime whistle. That's the end of our, I must say, for me, a very entertaining 45 minutes of cup football. A blend of aggression and intelligent play with a whirlwind start by Dundee. They really tried to run the legs off United. Although I suppose the clearest chance of all, or the, the nearest thing, was that challenge by Wright from the cross, which went off the crossbar. Although at the other end, Dundee United coming a bit more quietly into the game, but more uh, slowly and carefully getting that opportunity when it was almost touched right after the blunder by Carson with uh, Versailles saving it. No, I, I, I know that uh, games without goals is something you don't want, but we've had some real entertainment despite the scoreline.